So I arrived in China in the spring of 1979. I was alone in China. I mean, I was surrounded by a billion Chinese, but I was the only American social scientist allowed to do research in the Chinese countryside. And I was there when the one-child policy began. It came as a shock to me that any government would seize control over the reproductive systems of every person in the country. It seemed a violation of human rights, and it was. It seemed a violation of the, the, the rights of Chinese women to control their own bodies, and it was. As the weeks passed, the situation got worse and worse. Women were arrested for the crime of being pregnant. We actually have copies of arrest warrants where in the space where the crime is supposed to be listed, the crime that was written down was pregnancy, Huayun, in Chinese. When I went to China, I had probably been in favor of population control. I probably thought that China was overpopulated, and I had no qualms about abortion. But you cannot witness an abortion at seven and a half or eight or nine months gestation without realizing what really happens. And what really happens is that a baby is killed and the mother of that baby is wounded both in body and in spirit. So when I saw these abortions carried out, I decided to do all I could to stop this evil. Father Paul Marx asked me to come to Washington and head PRI back in 1995, and I eagerly accepted his offer. I saw PRI as a way of helping not just women in China, but women around the world who are being forced by population controllers, family planners, whatever you want to call them, to give up their fertility, who are being denied informed consent, who are being used as guinea pigs in medical experiments that would have made uh, the Nazis proud. We're the organization that goes out looking around the world and in this country for violations of U.S. and international law. Other groups do good work, but we occupy a unique niche in the pro-life world. We go out and look into abuses in China and cut hundreds of millions of dollars from the budget of population controllers. Uh, we go into countries like Peru and stop sterilization campaigns that are right now underway. We go into countries throughout the world and investigate U.S. programs and make sure that they abide by U.S. law. U.S. law is very clear. Uh, I know this law well because this is a law that we helped to get passed. The law says that there shall be no targets for sterilization or abortion or no quotas for the same thing. The law says that women can't be used as guinea pigs. The law says that women have to enjoy informed consent. That means you can't just sterilize them or give them a contraceptive without telling them of the consequences. These things are in the U.S. law, but they're often violated by groups that are ideologically committed to population control. That's what we fight against, and we've been very successful.